Hey Kai, it's Chris Reed here from Outer SEO. Really nice to uh, meet you today at lunch. Uh, just as a little continuation of that, I thought I'd do a little video audit of your website, Cambodia Living Arts. Uh, so the first thing I've done is gone and thrown your website into one of the tools we have called SEMrush. And so you can see here along this chart, it shows that you rank for, this is in the US, that you rank for 741 keywords that generate you 303 visitors, and that's per month. Uh, that many keywords and that few visitors means that the vast majority of those keywords are not on page one. And you can see this is a graph over the last two years. And so two years ago, you started out around 248 visitors uh, and you pretty much stayed there. You know, you had 303 uh, last month. So not a lot of growth. Where if we look down here, these are the keywords that you rank for and these are the positions. And you can see that very quickly you fall off the the front page of Google, the top 10. And so then all of these other keywords you're not getting any any traffic for. Uh, but if we move over to look at what it's like in Cambodia, so this is uh, in Cambodia ranked for 616 keywords, generating 426 visitors, which is a bit more, uh, but not a lot. Uh, one strange thing is you did have around 320 visitors and then you spiked up in May 2017 to nearly 2,000 and then it dropped off again and you're back back down to around 400. So I can't really see what happened there without looking at your Google Analytics, but if uh, we can see Google Analytics, we can investigate that and try and make uh, that the norm. But I just wanna show you what sort of potential we have. So again, here's the keywords and here's the position, and you can see how quickly you fall off the top 10 in Cambodia as well. And then there's all of these great keywords that you could be uh, ranking for, like this one here, Khmer traditional, uh, Cambodian traditional dance painting, you're number 11. You know, to move one spot forward from number 11 where you're getting zero visitors to number 10 where you're going to get traffic is you know no work at all. But uh, if we go and rank those keywords by search volume, you can see here like Khmer music. Uh, there's 33,000 searches every single month for that. You're number 50. You know, you're not getting any, well, actually 2.11% of your traffic comes from that keyword because people do go down to page 50, just not very, just not very many. The vast majority, like off the top of my head, 4% of people go to page two and then that's d divided by the top 10 there. So you imagine how many people get to page five, not very many, but, uh, even at 1% of 33,000 is a few. But if you're on the front page, you're going to get the lion's share of that, which is just do amazing. Just that one keyword would multiply your traffic amazingly. And same this one here, Music Khmer, 5,400 searches, number 97. Uh, and I'm sure there's plenty other great keywords down there as well. But uh, another way we can rank them is by cost per click. So, uh, the cost per click uh, is how much you pay for that if you were going to buy that keyword with Google AdWords. And generally, uh, the higher the cost per click is the more valuable the keyword because it's an auction. And the better it converts, the more people are willing to pay for it. So things like Khmer Museum, Khmer Culture, they have a pretty high cost per click. And again, you're you know, number 20, 24 and 55. So to move to the front page and get some of that traffic free is not a lot of work. So to give you an idea of what we can do with that, so if we go to Google and type in site colon and your domain name, this shows all of the pages that you have listed in Google in the order of most authoritative to least authoritative. So uh, first thing I can see here is there's a HTTPS issue. See how you have HTTPS here and you don't here? That means you've got insecure data. Uh, and this is this is a subdomain. Uh, getting that fixed will give you a nice little ranking boost, uh, but uh, and and it's really not a lot of work. But the main thing is, see here, this is your title tag. You know, it, Cambodian Living Arts is the first thing. If someone knows your name and is searching for that, I guarantee you, you're number one for your name. It's much more important that you uh, really represent what you do. Uh, so there's like no keywords in the description either, no keywords in the title tag. It's really important that you have in those title tags, you know, what it is you do, the answer to what people are searching for. You know, if people are searching for Khmer 
music or Khmer traditional dance or whatever, you, that's what you need to be expressing in your title tag and description. Uh, and you know that's that's just the tip of the iceberg. But uh, fixing up these these title tags and descriptions, you can I can see that lots of them aren't set. Like this description's terrible. Uh, that one shouldn't probably be indexed. You know, there's there's a lot of really really easy wins there, which will you know move you forward dramatically. The competition's not hard here, so you know, getting from four four hundred visitors a month to you know four thousand visitors a month is certainly not going to be a lot of work. So who am I anyway? I'm a uh, Chris Reed, CEO and founder of Art or SEO, uh, the guy that you met at lunch today. Uh, and yeah, we specialize not generally in Cambodia, but uh, usually in the English speaking countries, Australia, US, UK, but we do have customers also in Japan, Japan, France, and Germany, uh, and some Scandinavian countries, and Mexico. So we do work in a few other languages as well. And uh, yeah, we specialize in getting people in front of the people that are actively searching for their products and services. And you know, getting them to take action. So, you know, if you want someone to be buying uh, buying tickets or donating to your uh, to your NGO or whatever it is, we make sure that they get to your website and take action. And so I'd like you to take a little action now. Just uh, click the button below this video. It's going to pop up my calendar. Uh, find a date and time that works for you and uh, let's have a chat. Okay, hope you found that really uh, useful and book in a chat and we'll get to speak soon. Okay, bye-bye.